but for the love, for the love. Yes, I do. Yes, I so you don't care about the money? Well, yes, it's true. And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Zachary Miller. And I'm Sarah, and today's the one only day, Valentine's Day. Or Singles Awareness Day, for those of us that are still single. <laughs> ladies. Zach, stop trying to woo the audience. Oh, Sarah, I'm not trying to woo the audience. I'll be spending today with three very special ladies. Star Wars Episode 4, 5, and 6. What about this guy? <laughs> no. No. Anyways, for all you sports lovers out there, let's go head over to O-Town. But first, let's stand for our pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. I'm Sophia with your O-Town Sports. Your boys basketball team kicked off the regional playoffs with a game here at home against Buholtz last night. Let's go to the highlights. From the Lake Region Basketball Association in Lakeland, referees are... Matt Milan scored 24 points. RJ June finished with 11 points. The Lions led the entire game en route to a 73-46 victory. The boys now face Wakaiva in a rematch of the district championship game here at home on Tuesday night. Alex Schreiner is going to the state wrestling competition in Lakeland this weekend. Good luck, Alec. Let's go to Grace for a quick interview. Hi, I'm here with Alex Schreiner who placed fourth in the regional tournament last week and is moving on to states. So how is the regional tournament? Uh, the t regional tournament was definitely tougher than districts and states is going to be tougher so I need to work hard. And what are you looking forward to in the state championship? I'm just looking to improve. Um, every little bit counts. Just got to go out there and do what I can do. Good luck to the boys soccer team today as they take on Miami Columbus High at three in Melbourne for the state final four. A victory will put them in the state championship game tomorrow at 530. Today's game is in Melbourne. The Spirit Bus will be leaving at 1.30. We'll have more on the soccer team from Katie later in the show. Now back to Zach and Sarah. And we're back. And maybe you've been wanting to ask out that special someone. Thankfully, we have some advice for you. Just don't do what Zach did. Yeah. Well, we'll show you what not to do. Hey, Rachel. What's going on, baby? I just wanted you to know that I'm never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run out. Candy, love me. Yeah, just don't do that, please. Yeah, oh. psh, I mean, who would be dumb enough to do that? It's not like I loved her or anything. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go to the studio for your announcements while I deal with him. <laughs> Rejection hurts, Sarah. Shh, I know, Zach. <laughs> I know. Hey, Oviedo, I'm Ashlyn. And I'm Hannah. Here are your announcements. Juniors and seniors, tweet any songs you want to hear at prom to... Oviedo Prom and DJ Crazy Ace. The winners will be drawn at random from all OHS song request tweets by our DJ extraordinaire, DJ Crazy Ace, and announced right here on Roar TV next Wednesday, February 19th. Be sure to follow the Prom Twitter account, Oviedo Prom, for updates and news. Seniors, if you have not ordered a cap and gown or graduation announcements, Herf Jones will be on campus during both lunches today to take your order. Please don't wait as this is the last time Herf Jones will be on campus. If you have any questions, see Mr. Morgan in the front office. There will be no Steps Dance Crew today. Auditions for the Oviedo High School Short Comedy Play, Check Please, will be held today after school in the Drama Room. Come see Mr. Carey in Building 2 Drama Room for more information. Remember, Beta Club members are selling decorative fleece valentine pillows in the Commons today. The cost is $5 a pillow.
There will be a meeting for the Youth Alive Christian Club at 2.30 today at 8 10 All are invited. Key Club is meeting Tuesday in room 13 to 14. We are electing officers for the new Key Club then. If you want to run for office, you should prepare a short speech about why you should be elected and make sure you've already paid your $15 dues for membership or payments at that meeting. Creative Movements will meet today in the dance room from 2.30 to 3.30. The Gay Straight Alliance will meet on Tuesday next week rather than our regular scheduled Monday meeting in Ms. Waddell's room 8225. That's all the announcements we have for you today, Ovito. Have a happy Valentine's Day and back to Sarah and Zach. Zach, what are they doing here? Oh, I hired them. They're one of the singing grams that are going to be going around later today. Why did you hire them? I didn't want to be so alone on Valentine's Day. So you hired them to follow you around for Valentine's Day? Yeah, the way I see it, best 20 bucks an hour I've ever spent. You spent 20 bucks on them? Yeah, well, today is a special day. That's true. It's Valentine's Day. No, no, no. Today is the day that the boys' soccer team plays in the state semifinals at 3 p.m. That's true. The soccer players will be spending Valentine's Day with their true love, soccer. <laughs> The Oviedo men's soccer team won the regional final game after an intense 5-4 shootout with Mandarin. The team made history for Oviedo by becoming the first men's soccer team to reach the state final four. After being down 4-2 at halftime, the Lions fought back to tie the game 4-4 with two minutes to go. The Lions then finished the game with a golden goal scored by Tristan Rerig to win 5-4. Uh, well, they had some quality players, uh, some nice shots, but a couple like defensive mental breakdowns, and so... We had to like overcome those. Um, like starting off, uh, we started off really strong, but then uh, started to drop off. And then uh, at halftime, got a good talk from our coach Ben, and he really picked us up and got us ready for the second half. At halftime, we were down 4-2, and everyone was really disappointed because we weren't playing at how we usually play. And this team, you know, weren't wasn't as good as the other teams we played, and I think we should we could have played better. But it's good that the guys we stayed as a team and we fought back and came out with the result. The pep talk we all gave each other, and uh, knowing that we couldn't let ourselves go out with that being our last game. The Lions play in their state semifinal game today at three against a top Miami Columbus team. The game is expected to be a high-paced showdown to punch a ticket to the state championship. For this game, we need to play harder. We need to mentally stay focused for the whole 90 minutes. Uh, we're definitely expecting a tough game. You know, we've never played Columbus before, but we know that they took out the three-time state champion, Cypress Bay, but we're ready for a tough game. We're ready to win. So get out there and support your boys' soccer team. And have a happy Valentine's Day and a safe three-day weekend. President's Day. <laughs> For more TV, I'm Sarah. And I'm Zach. Happy Valentine's Day. Love you.